In this video, Integration by Parts, Part 2, now we're using the standard formula for integration by parts, which is uv minus the integral of vdu, uh, which we affectionately call voodoo because vdu kind of sounds like voodoo. Um, we use integration by parts voodoo anytime we are integrating inverse trig or natural blocks. So in this problem, we're going to use the acronym LIATE to help us figure out what U is. Now, LIATE stands for any kind of logarithm, usually natural log. Uh, could be regular logarithms. Uh, I stands for inverse trig. A stands for algebra. T stands for regular trig. E stands for exponents. We're referring to things like a to the x or e to the x. And again, we use this to pick out what u is. If we choose poorly for u, the problem's going to be much more difficult. So we look at this, and we start at the top. Are there any logarithms? No. Is there any inverse trig? Yes. So inverse trig is going to be my u. So I've got inverse cosine x is my u, which means my dv is what's left over which is dx. Now, we need to do integrals on the right side. So when we integrate just 1 dv, we get 1x. We're doing derivatives on the left side. So the derivative of inverse cosine is negative 1 over root 1 minus x squared dx. We now have all the parts ready for the formula. So let's start. Our first part of the formula is u times v. So we're going to write that as x inverse cosine x. Second part of the formula is minus the integral of v times du. So minus the integral when we multiply the v to the du, we can go ahead and put negative x over root 1 minus x squared dx. We now ignore the front part of the problem because that part's done. We're simply integrating this back piece. That's a simple u sub. u, my inside function, is 1 minus x squared. du is negative 2x dx. So I'm going to need to multiply by a 2 on the inside, which means a 1 half on the outside. So now I've got a 1 half integral, 1 over root u du. Well, I can either slide this 2 back in, or I can divide by 2 and multiply by 2 uh, to change the problem. The 2's cross out. This now is something we have memorized. That's just the square root. So bringing everything down, I've got x inverse cosine x minus root. My u was 1 minus x squared plus c. Let's do another example of that. In our second example, again, we're using liate to help us choose you. Are there any logarithms? No. Are there any inverse trig? Yes. So u is inverse cotangent x. That would be this piece, which means that dv is, again, 1 dx. When I integrate 1, I get x integrate inverse cotangent, negative 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. Plugging in our formula, u times v would be x inverse cotangent x minus, we've got the integral of v du, or voodoo, so minus negative x over 1 plus x squared dx. Again, this front part is finished. So we can ignore that for now and just do the back side. Simple u sub, u is 1 plus x squared. So du is 2x dx. To get a 2x dx, we're actually going to have to multiply by a negative 2, which would give us a negative half on the outside. Double negative makes a positive. So now I've got a 1 half integral, 1 over u du. Notice that's natural log. Bring the rest down. We've got x 
inverse cotangent x plus a one-half natural log, absolute value, 1 plus x squared plus c. Let's try this again. This time, as we use Liate and we ask ourselves, are there any logarithms? The answer now is yes. We have a logarithm here, so u is natural log 5x, which means dv is once again dx. v would be x du. Now we've got to chain rule this thing, so 1 over, don't change the inside, times derivative of the inside. So du would reduce to simply 1 over x. u times v, so u times v would be x natural log 5x minus the integral of v du, so minus, now we've got x times 1 over x dx. Notice, algebraically, those x's cross out. The front part is done. We are now integrating just 1 dx, which is x plus c. Bring everything else down, x natural log 5x minus x plus c. Last example. This video is a little longer than others, but this is a slightly more difficult concept. Again, we're using liate to help us. Are there any logarithms? Why, yes, there is. So u is natural log of 3x minus 1. dv would be dx. v would be x. du, now we have to do chain rule again, so derivative of the outside. Don't change the inside times the derivative of the inside. So d this time is 3 over 3x minus 1. So start off again, u times v, so that would be x natural log 3x minus 1 minus integral of v du, so integral. This time when we multiply our x, we would get a 3x over 3x minus 1 dx. Front part of this is done, so let's ignore it for now. Back part of this problem, now we stare at that, and that's an improper fraction. Because the top has an exponent of 1, the bottom has an exponent of 1. Anytime you've got either the same exponent or the top is higher than the bottom, then you have an improper fraction, and we need to do some long division to try to simplify that. So we're going to divide 3x minus 1 into 3x. That would go one time. Distribute, you would get 3x minus 1. Subtract, we need to distribute our negative, positive, negative, positive. We get a remainder of 1. We're going to write that remainder as a fraction, so plus 1 over 3x minus 1. Now the reason we did this is now we can break up this back integral into two pieces. So we've got our first integral, which is 1 dx, and our second integral, which is 1 over 3x minus 1 dx. Well, if we integrate the 1, we get x. In the back over here, we've got u is 3x minus 1, du is 3dx, put a 3, put a 1 third, we get a 1 third, now that's going to be 1 over u, which is natural log, absolute value, 3x minus 1, plus c. Now we've got to be really, really careful here when we bring this part down, because we've got x, natural log, 3x minus 1, and we got this pesky negative here. Now that negative gets distributed to that entire back term because this negative went to the integral. The integral got broken up into these two pieces. Some people might want to distribute that negative earlier. That would be fine.